you good morning good afternoon good evening depending on wherever you are around the world um my name is aisha and um if this is your first time tuning in i'd like to say thank you and if you've been with me all along then thank you very much for staying with me now uh on today's video i just wanted to um you know talk to my um african black community um you know with the recent changes happening in you know around the world i just thought it would be the appropriate time to talk to my you know african brothers and sisters um i think it is very important to um you know demand change in terms of you know the racism that's happening across the world in america especially and um, in europe as well but i think that you know racism is not just you know from the white community or from the european community i think that we we do have racism within the african black community it is crazy um how you know some of us are racist to our own race i mean if you pay close attention um you know the black man prefers a lighter a lighter a lighter african compared to the darker one. Bear in mind, the darker African is the original African. I'm not saying that the other ones are not, but obviously you need to bear in mind the majority of African girls and, you know, females, they all, most of them are dark skin. So they do, they do not have a lot of representation outside or from, you know, bigger influences or bigger people. And um, there's not a lot of them, you know? And within the African community, a lot of the dark skin um you know the dark skin people uh they are always like mocked in a way they 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 prefer the lighter african than the darker african so the whole colorism stuff is just ridiculous and it is killing uh, african women it is killing the dark skin girls and i think it's time for us to stop i mean we need to stop making jokes about the, their noses. We need to stop making jokes or discriminating them based on how dark they are. Because I used to remember when I was younger, um, I used to be told, oh, you're too dark. You're, oh, you're dark. Oh my God, you're very dark. You're dark like this, you're dark. You know, jokingly. I mean, I understand it is jokingly. I don't take it to heart. I, I mean, I'm a confident um, individual. I love myself the way I am. And um, I grew up with a, a, a mom that loves dark skin people. And she's always encouraged me. She's always inspired me to love my skin and love myself. And therefore, I've never grown to hate myself or feel low about my skin or my beauty to the point that I have to be bleaching. However, there's other, other girls out there that do not have that confidence that do not have you know somebody to encourage them and tell them how beautiful they are every day they do not have somebody telling them oh you know what you're dark skin and you're that you know you're beautiful um most of the time they have people telling them you know you're oh my god you're too dark i mean you look you know the picture you look dark you're the darkest in the picture like it's it's gone to the point where it's become it's it's a joke but these things resonate with these people like these things are not just a joke. They might be, you might say them in a, you know, in a jokey way and you might not mean them in a horrible way, but these things are painful. Imagine having to hear that you're dark, you're ugly, you're this all the time. It's going to resonate with you. There's going to come a time where these girls are going to sit down and be like, wait, am I actually that ugly? I am ugly. They're going to start believing that they're ugly because society has made them feel like they, they, they are ugly based on the fact that they constantly keep on reminding them and telling them the same thing. And to my African parents, you have a responsibility and a duty to tell your kids each and every day and every minute, wherever you possibly can, you have a responsibility to make your children understand, appreciate their beauty. Um, you want to encourage them, you want to inspire them, you want to motivate them to appreciate themselves you want to tell them every time listen darling you're beautiful the way you are you want to be able to you want to be able to lift them up you know whenever they do amazing things like there needs to be love in the black and in the black african community i feel like we like we lack 
the expression of love a lot our african parents don't show a lot of love which i understand it's, it's like it's in them or it's on it's a way for them to be strict or to show that obviously you know you have to listen to them so that the kids cannot be stubborn and all that but there needs to be love within ourselves in order for other people to love us we need to love ourselves we need to appreciate ourselves we need to respect ourselves for other people to respect us you cannot demand love from somebody else when you do not know how to love yourself i'm not saying that all oh, african people don't love themselves but we lack a lot of love and care like on a one-on-one -on -one basis and this has this is also one of the reasons why that the black people or the black kids grow to not love themselves or appreciate themselves or have a lack of confidence because this is you know the, all these things can come from home you know you start from the ground it does not just happen overnight you don't build confidence from 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 you know one day no 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 you nurture it you know so on a daily basis tell them how pretty they are tell them how amazing they are tell them how special they are you know this adds <coughs> confidence it boosts their confidence it, it makes them understand who they are it makes them appreciate themselves it makes them value themselves better it makes them respect themselves even more because they know who they are what they are and their value and therefore it is our responsibility it is your responsibility as parents to kiss your kids there's nothing wrong with that tell your child you love them show them i mean i'm not saying you have to do it all the time not everybody is an emotive person but a little a little little time to time makes a huge difference so start today look at your child tell them i know you love them they know you do love them but you should tell them Tell them so they hear it. It's nice to hear that somebody loves you. It's nice to hear it once in a while. Just so it, you know, it can resonate with you. Just so it can always stay with you. Just so you can appreciate it every time. You know? To uh, African men. I mean, that's a whole, a whole nother discussion. But what I'm going to say is learn to appreciate your African black women. I have seen lack of love lack of support lack of um encouragement lack of motivation from the black men when it comes to their black women i think i i feel like the black men are more i mean they're more receptive and more what is the word they're more docile towards other women or let me say lighter skinned women now this could be a white woman or a mixed race woman or a lighter brown skinned black woman but obviously to the other dark skinned women which are the you know which are the majority of african women they, like they and i understand that is like when when you when when there's so much of something you the value obviously reduces right it's just like, for instance, if there's too much of gold, the value of gold will not be the same as it is at this moment of time. And that is because now gold is rare. And I understand that the African continent is saturated with black, dark-skinned women who are beautiful in, in, in their own capacities. But obviously, because they, they, there's a lot of them, it does not mean that we need to stop appreciating them. It does not mean that we need to demotivate them. It does not mean that you need to discourage them. It does not mean that you need to, you know, discriminate against them as if they're not your own brothers and sisters i mean it's ridiculous you want to love on another race but not your own race you want to discriminate on your race but love on another race however the other race is still not going to accept you because at the end of the day you are going to be a black man point blank period regardless of how many kids you have with this race it, it, with this lady that is light skin or brown skin i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that i mean you every, anybody sh everyone should have the right to be with whoever they want to be with like they shouldn't be um you know you shouldn't have to stop you know you shouldn't you, you don't need to not be with somebody because of their race that shouldn't be the case however you do not have to discriminate on another race especially your own race i mean i've seen a lot of dark men that do not like to be with dark skinned guy, girls they prefer the lighter brown skinned girls and which is why also the whole um, bleaching in our community has just increased massively 
I'm not saying that obviously that is the main reason, but obviously that has also contributed towards, um, you know, a lot of dark skinned, beautiful girls bleaching their skin to be lighter. I'm sure there's other people that actually bleach their skin just because they wanted to bleach their skin, which is totally fine. You, you know, it is, it is, it is your own, you know, your own, your own responsibility. You're grown enough. You know, you have every right to do whatever you want. It is your body. However, I don't, I don't, I don't accept society making these black girls dark skinned beautiful girls or these african women um to feel so low about themselves to the point that they have to go and bleach them skin their skin in order for them to be accepted or to be valued in society that is just not right and to my black lady you should never have to allow anybody to dictate um, who you are or what you should be or what you should look like never should you give a man the power to tell you that you're not beautiful i mean everybody can say whatever they want to say everybody is entitled to their opinion but do not allow them to get into your head to the point that you're gonna have to go and bleach your skin because they told you that that is the the new trend or that is the way to be accepted I mean, I'm black and I'm beautiful, darling. I mean, look at all of this melanin. I mean, <laughs> no, but apart from all jokes, mate, um, I think it's time we tell, you know, we, we have this love within ourselves. You are beautiful regardless of your skin tone, um, your background, where you, where, listen, listen. Don't let these men tell you otherwise. Start in front of the mirror and tell yourself every day that you're that bad girl. Tell yourself that you are beautiful because you are. Yes. And you don't have to bleach your skin for a man to love you. Look nice and go step outside and you would see if a man is not going to love you or if a man is not going to want you. Bleaching don't, your skin don't have nothing to do with a man wanting you. And if a man does not want you, then that's his loss. You don't have to bleach your skin or look a certain way or change how you look or behave a certain way, which is not in your, you know, in your character or your behavior to be accepted by another person. No, it has to stop. So today, I plead with you, please take care of yourself. You are the one that has the responsibility for that. The white community can't do it for you. Even if racism stops, they cannot love you for you. You have to love yourself for them to love you. You have to appreciate yourself for them to appreciate you. We have to encourage and inspire our younger people to appreciate themselves. Let's show more love today. It's never too late. You can start now. But yes, thank you very much um, for your time and uh, you have a lovely day.